Hello and welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios for another broadcast interview with Business Worldwide magazine. Today we're speaking with Earl Martin, CEO of NDA Partners, a consultancy company in the pharmaceutical, biotechnology and medical product industry who are leading the way through their world-class experts. Last year, NDA Partners added its innovative contract development organisation services where they plan, manage and execute product development for biopharma and medical device companies on a contract basis. Whether new startups or global industry leaders, clients are given the expert knowledge and support to navigate what is a complex and highly regulated sector. Well, I am delighted to be joined by our Martin now to tell us more about NDA Partners and how it works. So thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Well, uh, tell us more about NDA Partners then. Certainly. Um, as you said, we're a life science management consulting company. We specialize in product development and regulatory strategy for generally early stage companies. We develop drugs and generics. We do biologics and biosimilars. We do medical devices and diagnostics and an occasional mishmash of other things. Um, I think uh, our client base is, is rather unique. Uh, we mostly specialize in working with small biopharma companies and medical device companies. <clears throat> These are companies that are at very early stages. They often have uh, a very limited staff. They're funded by investors, so they live from milestone to milestone. Um, and they need to make progress. They need to produce results in order to continue their investing. So <clears throat> about 65 or so percent of our business is working with that type of client, and they're a delight to work with. Um, about 20 to 25 percent, we also provide um, expert witness services for leading, leading law firms, um, looking at uh, all the issues associated with patent infringements or um, uh, you know, other issues that you see in the industry with generic drugs or, or, or whatever. And then a mishmash of others. We do a little bit with Big Pharma. We do um, we'll work with some CROs. We work with investors to help them with due diligence. But that's fundamentally the, uh, the client base we work with. Yeah, and um, there are many consultancies out there. So how do you differentiate yourselves? Well, there's really three ways. First of all, um, by the quality of the people that are associated with the company. Our partners and our senior expert consultants are absolutely top tier consultants. These are people that are well known in the industry, that have, have had successful careers, that are absolutely excellent at what they've done, and people seek them out looking for advice from them. Uh, we don't have a B team. Everybody in our team is, is, is an A team. Um, I think the, the second is that many uh, consultancies specialize in areas like regulatory consulting or CMC consulting or whatever. Um, we actually have capabilities across the board with respect to what it requires to develop a drug or, or a device. So we have expertise in preclinical management and design. We have expertise in CMC and toxicology and PK, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, in regulatory and clinical design, et cetera. We have all of the assets that are necessary to develop one of these products, and we can put them together on a moment's notice. Wow. Um, so a big business model. How did you arrive at this and your growth strategy? Well, um, it came from our client base. If you can imagine working with these early stage companies, many of them uh, have a limited number of, uh, of staff. They don't have the expertise, but they'd call us in for a specific issue. It turns out when you get in and start working with them, they need a lot more than that specific <laughs> issue. You discover other things where they're struggling, where they haven't thought of things and you suggest those things, and all of a sudden we have another expert in in another area uh, uh, working with the client. And over time, um, that resulted in uh, an understanding on our part that our clients aren't calling us in to answer a question. They really need us to help them develop their drug. And we began to recognize the need to expand our, um, our consultant base to include experts in other areas <clears throat> and to have them readily available so when those issues came up, we could immediately uh, bring people in to, to, to help our clients. That led to this um, next concept, the, the CDO, the uh, Contract Development Organization. Um, that organization is uh, the result of, uh, of working with clients who really need someone to help them design and execute their program because they're, they're very limited. And the concept really began to uh, come home for us a couple years ago when we had a client who had a single employee, the CEO, and he had never developed a drug before. 
And so we worked with him and got his drug out of the lab and into a, a company. We actually helped him found the company and do his logo and his website. I mean, this was really early stage. <laughs> Basic stuff, um, yeah. Yeah, so, so, and um, we put together, we put, brought in a program manager and put together a team and developed this drug from bench all the way up through the end of phase two where he recently sold the business. And uh, that told us something. It told us something about what this industry needs and how, how, uh, how we can really help them, how we can work with them in a way that's unique and that's powerful for, for helping them develop their, uh, their products. And what is it like working with these small companies? Well, it's actually, it's an incredible experience. Um, the people that build these companies are passionate about what they do. They love what they're doing. They're smart. They're fun to work with. I think you, uh, you really have to love your customers, and this is an easy group to love. And our consultants, all of us have gray hair. These are guys advanced in their careers. Um, they've done it, they've been there, and they're on their stage of their career where they really want to do things that have an impact. They want to work with people like this and help them get to the end zone uh, uh, with their product. And I think we have a good fit here between what I think is a brilliant set of consultants that we bring to the table and brilliant customers that are innovators uh, that get together and they click and they work together and sometimes it goes beyond just providing services and advice Sometimes there's actually some mentoring in this where these guys that haven't done it before um, uh, Get more than just advice. They get some help and they develop friends and we form real partnerships. So that's absolutely a delight Yeah, I'm interested in your consultants. Could you tell me a little bit more about what kinds of positions they are in or were in in their careers? Well, the, um, they vary. We have um, 14 partners and about 100 uh, expert consultants. Now, all of our expert consultants are people that our partners have known and they brought in because they know they're very good at what they do. But within that group of people, we have three former FDA center directors. We have probably 20 or so, 20 or more former FDA division directors or associate directors within the agency. Um, we have uh, the former head of the MHRH here in the, uh, in the UK. Uh, four or five uh, uh, former uh, EU regulatory agency consultants. Uh, we have about 25 former industry executives who were at the VP level and, and hands-on with respect to developing drugs and devices, uh, and a mishmash of others here and there. But they're all 18 players. They're all experienced. They know what they're doing. They're the top. They're the best people you can get. Wow. And they're a great pleasure to work with. Yeah, and you say unique and powerful. Is that where the CDO comes in? Is that a game changer? Well, we, we think it's a game changer. Um, it's a game changer because um, if, you, if you look back at the um, pharma industry and at drug and device development 10, 20 years ago, they were all done by big pharma in-house. In the last decade, that's, that's changed dramatically. Now, two-thirds of the products that they're taking to market, they've either acquired a small pharma company, biopharma company, or in-licensed the product. So the development now is fundamentally for innovator products. It's now being done in this wonderful emerging biopharma industry that's dynamic and full of smart, innovative uh, uh, people. And then as those products get to a certain point, the big farmer can pick them up and do the marketing and distribution. So the problem with, um, with this is in the old days when pharma did it, they had plenty of resources. If they needed a tox person or a CMC person on their project, there was one available. These companies don't have that. And our CDO concept is founded around the idea that we are going to work with them as a strategic partner. We are going to supplement their teams with people instantly, readily available to come on board as they go through the product development life cycle. We provide those resources, those experts in the various areas you need to get your drug through the process. Yeah, and I mean, how do you plan to move the company forward um, to further define and expand the CDO model? Well, I think there's uh, probably three ways that I can think of. One, we're going to continue to add the functional expertise. We, we've got everything we need to develop the drug as far as the science. We're now looking at a need by our clients to think about um, their market access strategy and their reimbursement strategy, something you really want to do earlier than most of them are thinking. You really want to plan that with your clinical strategy so you can get the, the proper information in hand for that. Um, so the, we also uh, sub, subcontract out things like the electronic submission of regulatory um, submissions. So we will probably want to bring those types of services in-house, expand in the future, expand our functional expertise. Um, and probably uh, the big thing is our program management office. As we take on more and more program management uh, opportunities with our clients, we need to 
um, put in place, I think, better systems, new systems, systems that are customized for what we're doing, methodologies and, and approaches that, that allow us to stay right on top of the program and keep everybody informed on what the issues are, what has to be addressed, and where we are in each issue. Um, we don't have technology in place to do that, do that today, and I think we'll be working on developing those sorts of tools as we move forward. And the future as a whole for NDA Partners, what does that hold? <laughs> <laughs> I think the, uh, the future for NDA Partners is great. This uh, contract development organization is driving our business. I think of um, what we're doing today as a CDO. It's very similar to something I experienced early in my career, which is the emergence of the CRO industry. At that time, 30 years ago, Big Pharma was doing all their clinical trial management in-house. And they discovered that, in fact, they, they could be more efficient uh, by outsourcing that. And the CRO industry was born. It started small. It swung up. And over the first two decades, it grew at a very high growth rate. And today, it's an established industry segment. I believe the CDO segment is exactly where the CRO industry was 30 years ago with this incredible dynamic um, biopharma industry and their lack of resources and the type of expertise they need to do the complex drug development and device development. Uh, I believe that we're going to see this, this concept of ours as a CDO taking off and developing over the next two or three decades. I see strong growth for about 20 years. Well, Earl Martin from NDA Partners, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, thank you for coming in to see us. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And I have your award here, Earl Martin, NDA Partners. Congratulations. You are Business Worldwide Magazine's 2019 Healthcare CEO of the Year USA. Congratulations. Thank you so much.